In this lesson, we'll cover work sharing detach. So you may say, well, what is work sharing detach? Here's a scenario. Let's say one of your customers or clients needs to see this Revit project. You definitely don't want to send them a copy of the central file and you don't want to send them a copy of your user file simply because it has all the synchronization changes and work sets inside of that. So what you can actually do is detach your user copy from the central file and then save it as a new name, which makes it stand alone, and then share that file or give that file to your customer. Now, the same thing is true if you work in a collaborative environment and you received a file from a fellow architect or another firm that's working on the same project. Let's say they sent you a file that was a copy of their central file, or they sent you a file that's a copy of their user file, and it still had all the synchronization settings in it. Well, you can detach it from their central file in the same manner. So how do we detach? Well, we first need to find and open the user's file. So to do that, let's go to the Open menu. On the Open menu, browse to the files that you save for this chapter. C Drive. Learning Revit Structure 2015, Chapter 16. And then the user's file is going to be called Central File 1601 Username. Now at the very bottom of the screen, when you select it, there's a checkbox for Detach from Central. This will detach the file from the central file. Now the same thing is true if you receive the file from a fellow architect working on the same project. You can detach it from their server. So when you click OK, Revit's going to ask you a question. You're obviously going to detach, but do you want to keep the work sets or discard them? Now that's depending upon how you want to use this file. Sometimes the work sets are relevant, so you can just discard them. Other times, maybe you want them because things are grouped together by work set. In this example here, I'm going to choose the first one, Detach and Preserve Work Sets. So what it'll do now is detach the Revit project, or in this case my user file, from the central file, but I kept the work sets. So to see this, let's go to the Collaborate tab. On the Collaborate tab, I can see I still have my work sets. If you click Work Sets, notice they're all owned by me, and they're all marked editable. It does this because technically you're detached from the central file. Go ahead and click OK. How do I know I'm detached? Well, I can't sync to it because the sync button is grayed out. So now I can save this as a project under a different name. So I can go to the large R, save as, project, give it a new name, and then send this off to my customer or my client. I'm just going to click cancel in this example. So as a review in this lesson, we talked about work sharing detach. We talked about why you would want to detach your user file from the central file in an instance that maybe your client or customer needed to see this Revit project. Well, you definitely don't want to send them a copy of the central file, and you don't want to send them a copy of your user file because it still contains the sync settings and work sets. So you detach your file from the central file, then you can choose to keep or not keep work sets, and then after it's detached, save the file as a new name and be able to send that off to your client or customer.